Today's movie is a breathtaking suspense as it takes us into the world's most dangerous and largest minefield. We'll witness how they deal with the existing mines to get rid of them. We'll travel back to the year 1945, at the end of Germany's occupation of Denmark. We'll see an army officer in a military jeep, observing the Germans being deported to their country. The officer, named Karl, looks troubled by them. Karl steps out of the jeep, and a visibly angry German soldier approaches. Karl strikes him and takes a German flag from him, throwing it to the ground. When another German tries to help, Karl strikes him as well. Karl informs them that they must leave because they are not welcome on Danish soil. He goes to a coastal area filled with mines and is tasked with clearing the mines planted by the Germans. The Danish army summons a group of young German soldiers to help clear the mines they planted. It's their first involvement in anything related to the war, and they are led by Danish officer Abi. Abi informs them that they've been called to clear the mines from Danish land. They tell them the truth that they are worried about the Danish soldiers because the mines are extremely dangerous, and they are the ones who planted them. They must get rid of them. The number of mines is 2 million along the entire western coast of Denmark. They started training them on how to disarm the mines without them exploding, and they took them to a training camp to train them on disabling the mines. Initially, they trained on dummy mines, and anyone who made a mistake was punished. Afterwards, they trained on real mines, warning them that a mistake could cost them their lives or result in serious injuries. Each soldier was given a real mine and entered a room alone to disarm and disable it. All of them succeeded except for one officer who unfortunately triggered a mine and died. Officer Abi scolded them but continued the training as if nothing had happened. Eleven German soldiers went to the western coast with the mines. A man named Karl, the officer, went to the eleven German soldiers and asked them for their names. Each officer stated their name, and among them were two twins. One of them mentioned his name and his brother's name, leading Officer Karl to strike him for revealing his brother's name without being asked. The soldier winced and remained silent. Officer Karl then explained their mission, to clear 45,000 mines from the area. This task requires them to remove six mines per hour. If they complete the mission without triggering any mines, it will take three months. After that, they can return home. The soldiers began searching for mines using small iron rods, sticking them into the sand. If they hit something, there might be a mine underground that needs to be removed and disabled. The German soldiers work for two days to get rid of the mines, and they are treated very poorly, being denied food. One of the soldiers, named Berner, goes to the little girl Elizabeth to talk to her. She asks him who he is. He tells her that her bride is broken, and he fixed it for her. Her mother called her, and when she left, Berner took a piece of bread that she had with her. Her mother scolded her and forbid her from interacting with the German soldiers again. Berner went back to the soldiers, and the Danish soldiers locked them in a cabin with iron bars, leaving them there until morning to continue their work. The next day, the soldiers worked in the heat, and one of them decided to go to Officer Karl to tell him that they were hungry and needed food. However, Officer Karl brushed off their concerns and said he wasn't interested in them, their safety, or their food. They worked long hours the next day and one of them told Officer Karl that they were extremely tired and exhausted, unable to continue working. Officer Karl checked one of them and said their body temperature wasn't high, they still had strength, and they could continue working. They were forced to continue. Soldier Berner felt tired and lay down on the sand. Another soldier was digging the sand, as there was a mine there. They managed to extract the mine, but it was very tiring. His friend was going to help him, but the mine exploded before he reached it. The soldier lost both his hands and screamed in agony. His friend comforted him and held him. To calm Officer Karl, they gave him a sedative injection and a car took him to the hospital. At the end of the day, all the soldiers returned from extreme exhaustion and hunger. Karl asked why they were all coming back. A soldier told him that they had to eat the animal feed from Elizabeth's farm because they were very hungry. Karl went to the farm, and Elizabeth's mother told him that the feed had worms and insects, causing them stomach issues. She seemed pleased they had suffered and said she was happy to have participated in their torture. Carl went back to the soldiers and forced them to drink seawater to cleanse their stomachs. He pours cold water on them to lower their body temperature. Carol went to the hospital to inquire about the soldier who was hit by the mine explosion and learns that he died. Returning, Carol steals bread and food to give to the German soldiers, who are overjoyed to have food. He lies to them, 
saying their friend is okay to motivate them to continue their mission. At night, Carol enters the cabin where the soldiers are locked, but hearing many noises outside, he investigates and witnesses Officer Abi brutally beating and torturing the German soldiers. Carol talks to Officer Abi and explains that they need the soldiers to clear all the mines. He emphasizes that if they die, he would have to bring in soldiers from his side, so it's necessary to stop the torture. He informs Carol that he saw him stealing food for the German soldiers and lets him go. Another day, the German soldiers search for mines in the sand. One of the twin brothers sees a group of mines stacked together and tries to alert his brother. He wants to warn him that removing one mine would trigger the others, causing an explosion. Unfortunately, he fails to communicate in time, and the mine explodes, turning his brother into pieces. The soldier searches for his brother's remains, but he is emotionally shattered. Officer Carl takes the soldiers back to the cabin, showing signs of being affected by the soldier's tragedy. However, this time Carl doesn't lock them up. He starts showing empathy towards them, understanding that they are young and need some freedom to run and play. He allows them to play soccer, and meanwhile, two new German soldiers join them to continue the mission since the deceased soldiers need replacement. Officer Carl walks with them in the areas where mines have been cleared, kicking the ball far away from his dog. As the dog runs to fetch it, it triggers a hidden mine, causing it to explode. Officer Carl tells the soldiers that it was their mistake. Carl once again changes his stance, treating the German soldiers harshly. He orders them to retrieve the ball, treating them like dogs. The next day, little Elizabeth is playing with her doll in the field that still contains many mines. Her mother saw Elizabeth in the dangerous field and rushed towards the German soldiers, pleading for them to save her daughter. Indeed, the soldiers quickly started searching for all the mines in the area to reach Elizabeth before any mine explodes, potentially killing her. Soldier Ernst decides to go and rescue Elizabeth himself. He successfully reaches her, hands her over to her mother, and waits for the soldiers. They expect Ernst to return safely. However, he reaches a point of despair after his brother's death and decides to end his life. He walks into the minefield and triggers a mine, killing himself. Days and weeks pass, and the soldiers continue extracting mines, moving them to a large truck. They manage to clear most of the mines in the area, leaving only a final section still hazardous. Some soldiers work relentlessly to clear all remaining mines and eventually succeed, feeling proud of their accomplishment. They are now ready to return to their homeland. Unfortunately, a soldier makes a mistake and forgets to remove the detonator from a mine, causing an explosion that kills several soldiers. The remaining soldiers board the truck, and Officer Carl intends to send them back home. However, Officer Abi informs Carl that the German soldiers are needed for clearing a larger area of mines, but Carl insists that they have been sent away. Officer Abi reveals that he actually sent another truck to bring them back because they're needed for another mine clearing operation. Carl is not pleased with this decision and argues that there are only four soldiers left, and they're very young, practically children. He insists they should be allowed to return home, as they haven't caused any harm to Denmark. Officer Abi challenges Carl, claiming that orders have been issued and there's no turning back. Carl leaves and arranges for a truck to follow them secretly, assisting them in their escape. He advises the soldiers to run about 500 meters to the east, reaching the German border and escaping to safety. Despite knowing that the Danish army will blame him for their escape, Carl helps them because he understands the suffering they've endured. After the war between Germany and Denmark ends, 2,000 soldiers are forced to continue clearing the western coast of Denmark from the remaining mines. Unfortunately, more than 1,000 soldiers died during this operation.